Welcome back to BJLA News, I'm Hayden Wyckoff. Tonight's top story, the long-term side effects of COVID-19. What are they? How long do they last? We're going live now to Ryan Jennings in Hollywood to tell us about his experience with the virus and how he's dealt with it. Ryan? Thanks for having me, Hayden. Ryan, what kind of side effects are you experiencing after having contracted COVID-19? Well, my throat is still sore. My sense of smell isn't what it used to be. Um, I'm gay now, and my head hurts. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, what was that last thing you said? I said my head hurts. No, uh, not that. You said the virus turned you, um... Gay. Yeah. I'm gay now. Because of the virus. You're gay now. That is correct. And you're saying that the virus did this to you? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was totally the virus that did that. Ryan, to my knowledge, spontaneous homosexuality is not a side effect of COVID-19. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know. Must be like a freak case or something because I am super gay now. I mean, I wish I wasn't, you know, ah, ah, but, but I am. Huh, so you don't think you might have just been gay before the virus? No way. I was so straight. Probably the straightest guy ever. I mean, I probably banged like a thousand chicks. A thousand women? Mm-hmm, yep, yep. Yep. Okay, um, Ryan, I think that you're just a gay man that is using COVID-19 as an excuse to come out of the closet. Nah, you got it all wrong. I mean, just ask my boys how many Friday nights they would catch me with a mouth full of vagina. Vagina? Uh-huh. Yes. Like every night. Right, well, you heard it here first, folks. COVID-19 is the cause of this man's newfound homosexuality and definitely not a lifetime of staunch denial. We'll be right back after these messages. And cut. <laughs> Wait till my husband hears about this. Because of the virus. 